the oatmeal. I'm just trying to show it off. We're here in bright, sunshiny Central Florida. Let me start the right way. Let me start. Let me start. All right, well, we're here in sunny, bright Central Florida. It's moving day at the shed, just getting everything buttoned up and ready to go. And, you know, we've been online on the forums. People have been giving us a, a lot of a lot of really good feedback. Um, and people really want to get involved. Last week, we had a couple people reach out to us, Paul and Alan from Texas. That's not Paul Allen, it's Paul and Yeah, Allen. but if Paul Allen is watching, uh, we could... We could use some money to invest in your future. So Paul and Alan uh, from the Disco Box and Team uh, Spectrum, they really want to help out. They really want to inspire the community. So they're actually going to be building a three-day robot as well. They're forming a team. It's called Team Orion. And they're going to be the first member of what we're going to call the Robot in Three-Day Network. Um, they're not going to necessarily be part of our original challenge because they're trying to get this all together in a week. So we don't really want to hold them to the same uh, level that we're trying to hold the other teams to as far as video production and the bot readiness. But they will be streaming their build live and producing YouTube videos. And so this whole robot and 3D network, uh, what we're trying to do is, is create a network of uh, prototypers and builders and bloggers to be posting all of their ideas on one uh. <laughs> so you want to talk about aggregation aggregation and then doing our commentary we're aggregating things in one place aggregation as part of the robot in three days network we're gonna uh, every night we're gonna review uh, some of the, the better uh, successes and failures of your prototypes that you submit to us uh, at the network. Yeah, maybe if there's some good stuff, yeah, we'll, we'll show it off, we'll talk about why it's uh, succeeding. Maybe there's some good failures and maybe we'll do like a, a not top 10 type thing and, and talk about maybe what people could have done differently to make those ideas successful. Um, and I think the last thing is if, if you want to contribute, um, Email to network at robotin3days.com uh, or you can tweet um, hashtag RI3D and people will be aggregating that content uh, during the builds and after, hopefully through the build season. And we'll be looking to find new authors to contribute. So if, you, if you're thinking you're a person who likes prototyping and likes sharing your ideas, likes this, this sort of culture of sharing that's coming about in first, go ahead and send an email to network at robot in three days.com and uh, apply to be an author. Robot. Funny out. We got a pool in the back in case we need a water game. So we're done. Is that a pond back there? It's a new concept that we have for Robot in Three Days um, that we're going to add in. We've been getting... Oh, right? <laughs> I didn't know we are going that way. I don't know. We're, what are we doing with this? Right. What did like change? I was going fine when you stopped. Yeah. I don't know. I stopped. I was saying, I just said a lot of people wanted help. I, I was really distracted by Robbie riding around behind us. <laughs> He's waiting for his cue. He's trying to be funny. All right, all right. Uh...